do. All right, there's something about the cold winter months that make you want to just curl up with a big bowl of something warm, mm. some comfort food. Here, right? Oh, good for this weekend. I know, possibly some snow. Well, listen, all this is why our next guest is showing us some cozy recipes with creative twists that are sure to entertain your inner chef and impress your loved ones. Ah, I do like to impress like my loved one? ones. Yeah. Well, this guy. There he is, Chef Greg Backstrom. He's the culinary force behind several restaurants in New York, including Olmstead in Prospect Park. The mm -hmm. restaurant is known for its creative use of seasonal produce grown right Wait for it. In their backyard garden. Listen, wow. In Brooklyn? They know how to do it at Prospect Park. Don't be ridiculous. Okay. Chef Greg joins us live this morning. Hello. Welcome to New York Hello. Living. Thanks for having me. Did this you, is cool. Did you yeah. know it was saffron? I didn't know it was you saffron. Did, you didn't yeah. think it was ice spice. That's like uh, culinary school 101 they teach you. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I it's, gotta go to culinary school. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's really expensive. <laughs> like saffron. Saffron or culinary school? Both. Yeah, both, <laughs> both. 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 <laughs> okay. So you have brought an array of Beautiful things, we know this, why? Because we can't afford plates that pretty. Um, talk to us about, what is it that went right over his head? Talk to us about what's in season they right now. They are very now. expensive Those plates. Those are expensive <laughs> plates. Exactly, that, am I right? That is a $200 plate. That's what I'm saying. You think we have that kind of budget? <laughs> yeah. What is in season right now? Because it's the winter I months. I love eating seasonally. Yeah, but I don't know what it is. A lot of stored vegetables, like, okay. like hey. uh, onions or carrots, or in this case, rutabaga. All the dishes that I brought are all sort of vegetable focus. We shop at the farmer's market a couple times a week. Mm -hmm. uh, but we don't want to be sort of like a boring, dated uh, farm-to-table restaurant. Right. So we, we do twists. So the rutabaga we turn into a pasta. The We do beef stroganoff, but we take the beef out of it and we replace it with spetzel, so like a noodle. Oh, that's so German. it's a really nice vegetable dish. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we have this like delicata vase, vase. Love uh, it. Which just has like a bunch of uh, things you're familiar with for a salad this time of the year, like ricotta, squash, mm -hmm. sage, prosciutto, pear, like those things you Yummy. see a lot in a salad right now. This is just a little right. different. Incredible. So you're taking uh, root vegetables, right? That's, yeah. that's pretty prominent, but you're turning them on their head. Yeah, the like part. in this case, like we literally. Go do your thing here. You, you got like to it. This is a rutabaga. They're, they're generally the, what, the size of What family of the, is of that? Head. Is that like, it's like a, a brassica? It's a, it's a turnip. It's a turnip. It is just a turnip. It's a turnip. Okay. So, you don't need to use this machine. This is like an expensive Japanese that's machine. A, that's a fancy. But is it used for rutabaga or is it used for pasta? It's this <gasps> is used to make uh, like sheets for. Uh, it's it's a Japanese vegetable sheeter. So from there you can kind of turn it to whatever you want. We, that's we've beautiful. like made like we've like pretended to make like lasagna out of this. We cut it. In, in no. this case we, we do tell. we do tag. Okay. Uh, so it comes out here. Wow. So you can, okay, so you start with this uh, device. Well, yeah. no, no, you start with a vegetable. A vegetable. And you're going to slice her real thin like. Yeah, you, you basically just like put it on your cutting board and you slice it to whatever thickness you want. And like that, is, that is the carb free pasta. And that's it, there's, no, there's, there's there zero carbs. Okay. And then, so then this is, uh, it's, you boil it just like you would pasta. Just like okay. pasta. Do you salt the water? You do. You, have, you do this. Everything is exactly the same. Okay. This is like a truffle butter sauce. That's oh, what we've boy. been smelling. Hold up. So, we just put that in there. We could probably turn that off. Okay. We could probably crank Truffle that up. And is butter. this what we're serving over at the uh, at the restaurant? Yeah, we serve this. We serve all of these dishes right now, actually. Okay. So this is just sort of swimming in a butter sauce. Oh, I love uh, that. Sounds amazing. As as it gets like uh, thick and glazy, we add a bunch of Parmesan cheese to it. Ooh. That'll sort of make it even thicker. Wow. Okay. Now, do you come from? Good stuff. Uh, truffle yes. down. We, 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 we put truffle in here too. I'm touching what Those is are probably also like five thousand yeah. dollars. Don't drop that, Marisol. I'm, my hands are clean-ish. Okay. And uh, and that's and a little a little yeah. salt. pinch of salt. Like this is kind of one of these things where you just want it to be buttery noodles. Yeah. yeah. You're not trying to make like a really fancy sauce or. Right. I mean, you could use tomato sauce. Sure. But uh, the dish is interesting enough with just. The fact that it's a vegetable. That's now, right. Will the so rutabaga so have a need... flavor? We'll take on the flavor of what you made it. Oh, I'm about to find out. It's shockingly. It's shockingly. I'm going to come back over here. Uh, very noodly. I mean, like it's very. It's not uh, bitter. Looks like a noodle. It's not. Uh, it does uh, all. The, it it's hits not all sour. The right. If oh yeah, because sometimes more you need. Yep. If you had put a plate of this and a plate of like a traditional egg noodle, could have fooled me. I would not. What yeah. was the orange no. stuff that you just put on? So there, there's a way of making uh, brown butter bits, is what it's called. So whenever you burn butter in a pan, you see the little flecks mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yeah. in it. If you add milk powder to that, 
you'll get more of those flex. And this is that. And that's what you get, yeah. So I see, this, culinary is what, education this is what was separates worth every the professional chefs from the wannabes at home. But this yeah, is the I'm, rutabaga pasta. Okay. And then like this is the delicata gonna, squash, squash we're gonna, face. We're gonna take, yeah. okay, my, my insurance is paid up with this very expensive yeah. plate. <laughs> Don't, please, that looks delicious. And it takes a year to replace them. Okay, we've duly noted. Uh, so you're next, you're staying with the vegetable yeah. that is in season? The, the thing with delicata squash is that- Come over here, people, yeah, people yeah, I was yeah. gonna put the, people yeah, like it because uh, you can eat the skin. You don't need to peel right. them. So they're really? less annoying to work okay. with. Okay. So <laughs> I like it because you could buy it on a Monday and two weeks later it's still okay. Exactly, really? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So we just take nice radicchios and lettuces and uh, kind of pinch them together. Did you did you cook this? Did you roast yeah. this? So this has just been roasted. Okay. You, we cut off the ends. Time out. This is fantastic. fantastic. It does not taste like a vegetable at all. You're right. right. It, tastes like a, it tastes noodly. It tastes like butter, truffle noodles. I can't wait. Save me some. Wow. So you roasted this. So we just roasted it. We clean out the inside. Yep. So it's fully cooked as yep. is. You can serve it hot if you want to, but you sure. don't need to. Uh, this is like a ricotta cheese that we piped inside oh, of it. Beautiful. Again, because it's, it's all the things that people already expect. Sure. Like we're not trying to be challenging. Right. It's just supposed to be a you're little creative. You're just elevating it. Crea you're being a little bit more creative. That's so you, beautiful. So you just stuff whatever lettuces you That's have. That's gorgeous. We have like prosciutto chips that you can kind of just now weave in there. Now imagine you're having a lovely dinner and this shows up. At your, at your table. I would have thought it was the centerpiece. I know. And, and you can preplate them because it all holds inside the little hole it's there. It's there. Stunning. That you can kind of get ahead on it. Wow. Okay. And then. That's we, beautiful. We have the spetzel. Last but not least. Again, like people dedicate their lives to making pasta. I'm not that person. That's I not you. I a lot of great restaurants. Pasta was never my forte. Okay. okay I came fine. across a really great spetzel recipe. What uh, is spetzel? Where? Spetzel is just flour. It's, it's, it's flour, egg, and uh, uh, Milk. Okay. Okay. And you and you make a little pancake batter and you drip it into water and it turns into a little dumpling. Oh, I love that for us. So these are just little dumplings. So it's not instead of beef stroganoff, it's spetzel stroganoff. Okay. Stroganoff is usually just beef and mush sure. mushrooms. Right. So this is a mushroom noodle dish again, but instead of having to hand make this pasta, it's it's much more easy at home to make. Like you can just make that batter I just said. Yes. And use your your pasta strainer. And you can drip and be into done with it. Oh water. my yeah. God! Holy moly! You said this is delicious. It is. Here, you know what? You try. I'm gonna. No, I want to try. Oh, you go for the stroganoff. Sure. Okay. okay. First. Go for it. Let us know. So tell tell the good folks at home where to find more yes, of this delicious. Yes, where can we find these? you? So these are all at uh, Olmsted. We have two restaurants in in the same neighborhood. Mm -hmm. Patty Ann's is like our pizza place. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Very Chicago kind of style yeah. restaurant, and then Olmsted is like our creative vegetable place. And then we have a we have a restaurant inside of Rockefeller Center as well. This is delicious. Thank you. You apparently know what you're doing. With vegetables, I try to. <laughs> yeah. Real quick before I let you go, I, what, what did you grow up on a farm or around vegetables? I did. Okay. Yeah. I grew up on a, an hour south of Chicago on an old farmhouse. Makes there sense. You know. Yeah. Keep keep up the good work. Thank that you. tracks. Appreciate it. Thanks yeah, for you're, you're on we to something. We need to get on that here. choo choo and head Let's over go to, to Brooklyn. Let's go.